Hello, my name is Guadalupe Buenlanos, and my presentation will be over the drug Herceptin. So it's a monoclonal antibody that is designed to target the HER2 receptors that is overexpressed in cancer cells. Now this overexpression increases the mediated intracellular signaling directing the cell to proliferate uncontrollably. So it's important to note that HER2 proteins exist in both normal and cancerous cells. It's just that there's just a, a large quantity of them in cancer cells and they're typically regarded as HER2 positives. So how Herceptin works? It delivers continuous inhibition of HER2 activity by working both the intracellular and extracellular domains of the HER2 receptor. It binds to the HER2 positive receptor and it flags it uh, for the immune system to come in and destroy it. And it also prevents the HER2 activity by blocking the intracellular HER2 signaling inhibiting cell proliferation, thereby inhibiting the downstream signaling pathways. So Herceptin targets the ERBB2 receptor by binding itself to the extracellular domain, limiting the activation of numerous signaling pathways that promote cell proliferation. And it can also flag the immune cells to bind to the Herceptin and initiate lysis of the cancer cell. So Herceptin inhibits the MAPK and PA3K slash AKT pathway that causes uh, cell arrest and suppression of cell growth and proliferation. And it does so by interfe interfering with the dimerization of the HER2 receptors and prevents it from activating and undergoing phosphorylation. In normal cells, the HER2 is just activated by the formation of dimers with other EGFR proteins, and then it undergoes dimerization, which result in autophosphorylation or transphosphorylation of tyrosine residues in the EGFR intracellular domains that just leads to the activation of the various pathways that promote cell growth, proliferation, and survival. And in cancer cells, there's just a large quantity of them, and they are just remain active and uncontrollably proliferate. Some side effects that have been found are especially in the first treatment are flu-like symptoms like fever, chills, muscle aches, nausea. Um, other serious side effects are damaging the heart's ability to pump blood effectively, even stroke. Uh, some lung effects are um, wheezing, hives, people having trouble breathing, um, some even suffer from pulmonary toxicity or swelling of the lung tissue, stuff like that. But that's sort of rare. That doesn't really happen. Um, so it is known that patients, especially for time, first time users, don't respond to don't respond too well to Herceptin um, because their body is resisting the drug. And that has to do with the fact that, you know, when a foreign antigen binds to your cell or when a foreign substance enters your body, the immune system activates and is alerted and uh, it tries to attack it. Um, so the question that I have for you is, is HER2 uh, overexpression only occurs in breast cancer, cancer cells, or are there other cancers that have the overexpression of HER2s? 
And if so, can they be treated with Herceptin or is Herceptin only for patients that suffer with of breast cancer? Mm, that is the end of my presentation and I hope that you learned a little bit of what Herceptin does.